everyone, DMV Solar Rider here. We are off on a long tour today. It is a beautiful sunny day. First, you know, perfectly sunny day we've had in about a week. We've had a lot of rain, thunderstorms, all of that. So I wanted to take advantage. And today's ride is a long 300 mile route that's gonna take us out to Seneca Rocks, West Virginia and back. Uh, the route that I found said that every part of this ride, which kind of starts, I'll put the map up on the screen, kind of starts on Route 66, heads through Front Royal, then gets off the highway, and apparently there are a lot of twisties and hills and really pretty rides, so we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and yes, I know Seneca Rocks, West Virginia is not in any way, shape, or form in the DMV. But as I've mentioned, if I can get there and back in a day, it's in the DMV for me. And you may have noticed today, we are using a different helmet. And I, I was really torn about this. As you know, I am the proud owner of an Icon Air Flight Freedom Spinner helmet. It is the best helmet in the world in terms of graphics, all the colors, the bald eagle on the back throwing ninjas on ninja stars on fire you can't beat it but what i found after wearing my freedom spinner for a number of months is it's a little noisy uh, it's a little tight on my head so i get some hot spots in the forehead so i tried on a medium it was way too big the small fit but it's almost too small. I'm pretty much in between. And there simply was no way I was not getting that helmet. For whatever reason, no matter what Bluetooth unit I put on that helmet, uh, I can barely hear my music when I'm on the highway. And in this helmet, my Shoei GT Air 2, the sound is phenomenal. I actually usually have to turn the music down. It's too loud. And while on short rides, like if I'm riding down to Nanjamoy or whatever, it's not a big deal. When you know you're going to be on your bike for 10 or 12 hours, and plenty of that is going to be on the highway with a lot of wind noise. And I mean, I'm not talking for 12 hours today, I'll tell you that much. You want to listen to music, you know, you don't want to hear wind noise rustling in your ears all day. And so... I made the difficult decision that I would rig up my Shoei GT Air 2. This is my very first helmet for filming so that on today's ride I could actually listen to music in comfort. Now this helmet has its own drawbacks to be sure. It's quieter than the Freedom Spitter. Uh, I find that aerodynamically, the Freedom Spitter does better with uh, buffeting than this helmet. You know, I have my shield extension up, so that won't be an issue for much of the day. Uh, but that always kind of kind of bother me about this helmet on this motorcycle. Uh, but you know, when I'm riding out there, I'll have loud music in my ears the whole day long. Uh, I'm not actually wearing earplugs right now. I probably should be. But I find that the SRL2 communicator in this helmet, it's basically a Senna 20S Evo. The noise canceling works so well that I, I don't really need earplugs. And this helmet fits perfectly. So the, the speakers are right against my ears with the padding which kind of forms the same seal that an ear earplug would form. So it really works. But, as I mentioned, it, it's kind of killing me to not have my Freedom Spitter on, only because I love the look of that helmet. And the other day I was at Indian of Fredericksburg doing a demo day, and a nice guy came up and goes, Hey, are you DMV Solo Rider? He recognized me from my helmet, which was awesome. And so here I am filming a video without that helmet. I feel like I'm betraying my channel. But you guys will just have to forgive me. The other thing is since it's 
a 300 mile ride I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna be using two cameras other than this little intro chit chat uh, I only have so many batteries and so I'm just gonna rock the chin camera today make sure that we get all the sights we want to see and so you're not really gonna see this helmet other than this little brief intro Oh, one other thing about this helmet, I did a little test ride yesterday to try and do some filming, see how the new chin placement worked. Add the microphone Velcro to the inside of the shell right up here. And when I was looking at the audio, it was very peaky. So today I put the microphone up against my cheek pad, kind of between my cheek my cheek pad in my actual cheek it's attached there with the velcro tab hopefully that will eliminate any peakiness from vibration I don't know how it's gonna sound but we will see if the sound quality is not great you'll just have to forgive me cut me some slack it's a long ride and I needed to be as comfortable as possible and I just had to wear this helmet today but anyways, that's really all I've got to say today. We might be back at different parts of the ride. If there are some great twisties or amazing scenery that I want to call out to you. But otherwise, I'm just going to slap together the best parts of the ride. I basically do like 10 second increments, sometimes a little longer. And uh, yeah, we'll throw up some new music and check it out. As always, I'd appreciate if you'd give me a thumbs up. Try and get new videos out every Friday. So if you hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, you'll get notified every Friday when I put out a new video. Let's get to it. That was beautiful. percent downgrade the next few miles. West Virginia! Can't get a picture with that sign. That's too bad. like this makes me realize what I really need to do is a full cross-country ride I don't know how I do that I have a pet <laughs> my pet would not appreciate me being gone for a month 
But you know, Grandma might appreciate being home for a month on a little vacation. Hmm. Hmm. A plan is forming. Hey, Mom, would you want to stay at my place for a month? <laughs> Can I please? <laughs> I'm not putting this in the video. <laughs> my parents are my first two subscribers. Kind of missed that highway. <laughs> That's gorgeous. We'll have to see how this route does. Here. Oh, that is pretty. That's pretty. Why didn't I stop right here? Look at that. Guys, we're at Seneca Rocks. I wanted to walk down here and get you the money shot. I'm tempted to ride my bike in here and get some glamour shots. That's it. It's my little lunch spot.
gorgeous. All right, let's hit the road. This ride is just fantastic. You guys got to do it. You just got to do it. It's a long day, but who cares? Take a lot of breaks. Rest your butt. Yeah, these are twisties. You could go more than 25 miles an hour. It'd be nice. <laughs> Deacon has no issue with the incline. These are not corners, they're turns. <laughs> Let's be frank.
Wow. Those were some serious turns, man. We still have about 80 miles to go until the GPS file I used for this ride is finished. And I am down to my spare 32 gig SD card. I think it gives me about a, an hour of footage, so this will probably be the last battery. And I just wanted to tie up the ride before the battery and SD card give out. I thought it was a, a lot of fun. I'm really glad I did it. Seneca Rocks is gorgeous. I think um, when it comes to the map, the road is great, amazing, really curvy, really fun, no issues there. I think the thing that kind of miffed me was once we crossed into West Virginia and we were on these just amazing, you know, long sweeping highways that were cutting through mountains, you know, where you ride through the mountain and you got rocks on each side and long bridges over valleys and these amazing valley vistas. I didn't want to leave that. Like, I would have been thrilled if that was the entire ride. And it wasn't. Like, as soon as we got into that, next thing I knew, the ride that I had downloaded took us away from that onto, like, little backcountry roads. No, they were fine. They were fun, excuse me. But, I mean, it just didn't compare. It was really a letdown in terms of the visual opportunity. And yeah, they were twisty, and that was fun. But, I mean, when I say that, you know, I think I said when I was recording on that highway that, you know, a ride like this makes you say... I really need to take a month off and ride cross country. That's exactly how what I was thinking. I made a joke that, you know, my mom can get a little vacation and stay at my place with my pet for a month. <laughs> Anyways, so it was a great ride. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the twists and turns and Seneca Rocks. But I just want to thank you for taking a little bit of your time and spending it with me. If you enjoyed this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And I try and put my videos out every Friday. So if you hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, you'll get a little note when uh, I upload a new video. And again, I appreciate you spending a little bit of your time with me. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next ride.